Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about a sine wave sweep in your room. Why would we do a sine wave sweep? I'm not going to go into definitions right now. We all know what the what sine waves are. But if we use a sine wave generator to produce this wide band of frequency and amplitude in our room, we can test for resonances. We can test for vibrations in the room. We can test for shaking, rattling, anything that goes with it. So it is a test for resonances in our room because everything in our room has a resonant frequency. Everything has a frequency, uh, for simplistic terms, uh, will be produced so where it can kind of talk to itself. It moves and it kind of talks to itself is a good way to think about it. So light fixtures, uh, even veneer on plywood, um, structures themselves have resonating frequencies. The human heart, I think, resonating frequency is about two and a half cycles pretty close to the Earth's resonant frequency. So there's something uh, somebody could talk about. So the bottom line here is we eject, interject energy in the room through our sine wave sweep, have one person do that, have one person controlling the generator, and then you walk around the room and listen very carefully and stop and listen. And you're going to hear things that move. You're going to hear things that rattle. And just like getting good quality sound in a room is a combination of doing a lot of little things correctly and in the right order, noise cancellation and noise reduction is a result of doing a lot of little, solving a lot of little noise issues in the room, however small they are. So the bottom line here is it's great for things that rattle and shake and produce noise. What's the biggest one we find when we do our projects? These light fixtures because they have a fixture and then they have the bulb inside the fixture. And what we find is that these fixtures are attached to a plate and these things move. The actual fixture itself moves that the light bulb is in. And that movement, because of the way they're attached to the plate, causes noise. So what do we do? Well, you all have seen those little round rings that you put on your vacuum tubes of your tube amps to keep them from vibrating. Well, we use those on our fixtures. So there's a little tip for you. Just put one of those round donuts, we call them, around the fixture, and that'll stop it from moving and stop it from making noise. So if you really listen to your room, you can hear the parts of it that are making noise, and uh, you got to be really careful. So depends how anal you want to get about your sound. Of course, that's what we're all about. We're all about getting the most out of your room and getting the room out of the way as much as possible. And a light that doesn't cooperate gets a donut. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.